Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and now uh, we are going to see about India Bull Housing Finance Limited and I think this is the latest news regarding India Bull Housing Finance Limited stock. Now what was the basic thing that has happened all over the market as we know the market has been slowed down a lot and India Bull Housing Finance has tried to overcome that but as you can see here 31 rupees down and the range of 254 rupees it has been in the trading so before going to this main important news as you can see in the title we have given s bank exposure of india World housing finance yes friends this video is going to explain you about the india World housing finance exposure to s bank limited which is facing crisis today and nowadays and basically before saying that news friends let us see the market capital first so the market capital full is now at 10,800 crores. That means uh, maybe a high amount of market capital this side has been trading now and that is a good news to note. But now a news is going to come which may shook your heart and I am going to show you that news. So listen it carefully and see it carefully friends. And this is the official listing news that India Bulls housing finance has given. And they have updated stock exchanges with this India Bull Housing Finance share. Now, what they have given is that we wish to inform that S Bank owes to India Bull Housing Finance. Now, the first line tells you that India Bull Housing Finance Limited has given some amount to S Bank Limited, and S Bank Limited has not yet paid those amount. Okay, so they are doing the first news. So, the total amount they have given is around 662 crore via 81 pond so finally what they are trying to say is that India Bull Housing Finance share has given loan to S Bank limited the range of 662 crore at for the 81 bonds these investments were made in 2017 as a part of treasury management over 20,000 crores of cash when, yes, when the bank worth was around 10 billion dollar in value Yes friends, it's basically a good thing you should note because uh, in 2017 when the Rana Kapoor was getting this S-Bank Limited, it was a dream stock for so much of investors because the expansion level of S-Bank Limited was very much good and therefore India World Housing Finance share has invested around 662 crore worth of bond in S-Bank Limited when India World Housing Finance had that 20,000 crore of worth amount of cash. So basically, if you see friends, out of 20,000 crore, they have invested just 622 crore, which means not even 10% of their total cash they have invested in this. I think maybe a 5%, 4.5%, maybe the 4.5% out of the 20,000 crores they have invested in S Bank Limited. And also they have said that Samir Gelahar, promoter of India World Housing Finance, or any of his companies or any of his family com member companies have loan loans again outside from S Bank and this is the basic good news regarding S Bank in the because sorry uh, S Bank in the as well as India World Housing Finance Limited is that they have clearly said the promoters of India World Housing Finance do not have any loans against these companies only they have given loans and not taken loans now finally friends how this Gonna impact the share price of this news can impact the India Bull Housing Finance share. Now people may ask me uh, whether to trade this stock. We already said that the Delhi High Court case is the one and only final thing that the share to, should take away in order to move to the range of 400 rupees. So basically, the coronavirus impact the market slow down, and also you should know know that S Bank Limited crisis has been formulated overall. A beautiful investor who is thinking from mind would definitely buy this India Bull Housing Finance share for a short term trade of the target of 300 rupees. If the share goes down, then I think you must hold it for a long term because all the problems are being sorted out in India Bull Housing Finance Limited and this exposure also given. This is not a given because shareholders should know how much is the amount of value of bond they are given and I think that. Uh, RBA would not definitely leave at that case because when you note friends uh, when this uh, re reconstruction of this bank it is going to be very very good I think all the lenders and all the lenders would be reassured already finance minister has reassured to all the lenders all the employees and all, as well as all the lenders the sustainability of this S bank limited and which will definitely impact the 
India Bulls Housing Finance Limited may be a short side as well as a long side or a long term put it can be seen in India Bulls Housing Finance Limited and this is the board this share and if you enjoy this video till now then make sure to the subscribe button because you could get our latest updates regarding many shares including India Bulls Housing Finance Limited.